Or, and gripping headlines across the country this week as the ongoing debate about immigration policy. Yes, and those images of children being separated from their families, specifically that new policy that ordered families to be separated at the border. But yesterday, a major development has shifted the conversation once again. Let's get to the very latest with Jason Carr this morning. Good morning. Yeah, in a full 180 spin, the president reversed his own administration's policy last night, issuing an executive order that ended the separation of families detained trying to cross the southern border. Then, at a rally in Minnesota, the president, after touting his reversal, stressed the U.S. will still be enforcing immigration to the fullest extent. And by the way, today I signed an executive order. We're going to keep families together, but the border is going to be just as tough as it's been. This reversal comes after mounting pressure from both sides of the aisle and stunning images of poor living conditions for the thousands of children separated from their families. So now the conversation has shifted to how do we reunite the families in the first place? Well, some experts say that's going to be nearly impossible. But I think we're going to see hundreds of cases where parents are, you know, children are permanently separated from their parents um, and becoming wards of the United States. This morning, more than 2,300 kids have been sent to shelters in at least 17 different states, including New York, Michigan, and California. And this is through a complex network of multiple government agencies. It remains to be seen how, when, or even if they will be reunited with their families.